Hi everyone, Ms. Susan here for another edition of Collier County Public Library's BOTS Books on the Shelf. Today's book that I'm going to tell you about is called Fear Book Club. It's a graphic novel written by Richard Ashley Hamilton and illustrated by Marco Matrone. We received this book in January, so it's fairly new. This would be a great book to recommend to a reluctant reader, either in middle school or high school. The book is less than 100 pages long. It is a graphic novel, so it's an easy thing to read for people. It's not too intimidating of a book to read. Uh, the story happens. I'll show you the inside of the book. It's a little bit dark. We have someone who is new to school, and they call him a nuke. He's a new kid at the school. He decides he's going to start with photography and be part of the yearbook club. And when he make, takes pictures, he sees there are some ghosts in the back of the pictures. So basically the theme of this book is what do you do when you are afraid of something? What do you do with your fears and how do you overcome them? And at the end of the book, I'm really impressed. There is an interview, a letter to teens from the author. And then there's also a question and an answer from the illustrator. So this is what the author says. He has, he calls it the letter to the weirdo club. It's for kids obviously that feel a little out of place and maybe you don't fit in with other people. I'm gonna read just the beginning of it. He says, hey, hey you, the weirdo reading this comic. I mean this graphic novel. Sorry, I'm not used to calling them that as I'm quite old. I'm also sorry for calling you a weirdo. If it makes you feel any better, I'm weird too. Only I think that's actually a good thing. A badge of pride. Celebrating how we're different. Distinct. You know, special. Then at the end he says, With fear, we all experience it. The question is, what do we do with it? Do we ignore fear, which by the way never works? Do we collapse under the crushing weight of it? Or do we try to understand it so we might move past it? Or at the very at least, cope with our fear? And he says at the end, the point is, no fear is too great when you face it with friends. So it's a very good article from the author telling you what he thinks about being different and being afraid of things. Then at the back of the book, there's an interview with Marco Matrone, who is the illustrator, kind of some question and answers. And the one I like is, uh, any advice for young adults who want to become a comic artist? And he says, before becoming a cartoonist, you need to become a storyteller. The very first piece of advice is to observe a lot. Learn to tell a story by consuming all sorts of content to understand how different people, places, and cultures tell stories. Next, you should never give up on the first sign of difficulty. When you try to make your dreams come true, it's rarely easy. That's why it holds its value, which is why you have to keep trying and put a lot of effort into it. The last piece of advice is perhaps the most important, be humble. To fulfill your potential, you need to accept and understand criticism. This is the one way you can really grow or otherwise you remain stuck. So again, I'm recommending this book today. It's not the kind of book that I would pick up myself, but I'm trying to expand my horizons. And again, if you have a reluctant reader, you're looking for a quick read, a little bit dark, but also has a good message about how to overcome your fear when you feel different or you're a new person in a new place. So again, that's Fear Book Club, written by Rich Richard Ashley Hamilton, illustrated by Marco Matrone. We'll see you next time on BOTS. Bye.